So this is the Ben train, and this is my first time playing with it. Uh, basically, this is for a needle cricothyrotomy, and um, it is an interesting piece of equipment in that it's near 15 meters per minute, but it can actually do active and passive uh, removal of air. I have my thumb and finger covering the holes. This is then blowing air in. If I take my thumb up, then it sucks the air out so you don't get the barrel trauma. So why, why would you want to suck the air out? If, let's say a kid has inhaled a hot dog. He's got complete airway obstruction. And so now you're ventilating with a, with a 14 gauge catheter through the cricothyroid membrane. Where's that air gonna go? It's just gonna get barrel trauma. It's just gonna build up in the lungs. So uh, passively removing the air, passively removing the air is okay, but you have to kind of wait five, six seconds, maybe to let the air out. do now is I'm going to take this 14 uh, gauge catheter and uh, take it and I'm going to go into my lung here and this is doing this is through the cricothyroid membrane puncture this I'm going to pull out the needle and then I'm going to hook up the ventrain to my lung so that's the uh, 14 gauge catheter that's got the uh, lure lock adapter to it um, you've got the uh, this is where the active uh, sucking of air comes out of and then <laughs> look at that so this is sucking the air out so you can see it actually all right now i'm putting air in ventilating all right active expiration active ventilation active expiration Active ventilation, passive, passive expiration, passive expiration. Hey Chris, so help, how, how do we teach people how to remember that you get active expiration with the thumb? Close both of these ports to ventilate and then I figure you suck on your thumb and it sucks all the air out. Yeah, so thumb sucking, <laughs> okay. Demonstrate thumb sucking. So it's sucking, it's sucking on my thumb now. When I have the thumb off the port, it sucks. Yeah. 